Hello again, I'm Craig Heffernan from Heffernan Construction. In this video, we're going to show you how we remodel the bathroom using old barn wood. The customer wanted something that was unique in the guest bathroom. Everything is removed in the old bathroom, including the vanity, the toilet, cast iron tub, and all the wall and floor tile. It's a complete tear out. We prep the shower area using half inch cement board on all the walls that will be tiled. And the floor will receive this underlayment to accept a slate floor. This underlayment is adhered directly to the subfloor with thin set mortar. The slate tiles will be able to be set directly afterwards. If you have any questions so far, leave it in the comment box below. And please, we need your free subscription so click the subscribe button to be informed of all our new upcoming how to videos. We are ready to set the sub base mortar. It's a mixture of four part sand to one part Portland cement with very little water added. The mixture is spread thin and tapered to the drain. It took overnight for the sub base to cure and it's ready for the shower pan. This PVC liner will absolutely stop any water and deliver it to the center drain we installed earlier. The secondary top coat cement is a dry pack mixture of 5 to 7 parts sand to 1 part Portland with very little water. The pea gravel is placed around the drain holes to prevent those drain holes from clogging. I start by packing the mixture around the drain to hold the pea gravel in. The dry pack is then smoothed out and tapered to the drain. This corner seat is custom made with colored concrete. The concrete is also going to be used for the vanity counter, sink and sills. I always wipe my solder joints directly after with a wet cloth. This valve will have a shower head and a diverter valve to switch the four body sprays. We can now finish the rest of the cement board. It is all measured, cut and fit into place. We fasten the board with these special inch and a quarter cement board screws. We chose to use pebble rocks for the shower floor. The rocks are natural and they're real. They come in sheets and go rather quickly. All the seams are finished off with mesh tape and thin set mortar. The walls are now prepped to start the wall tile. The tile will go from the shower floor to the ceiling. We have drawn up a pattern on paper for the layout of the field tile, chair rail moldings, top crown, and decorative tile inserts. This pattern is done throughout the bathroom shower and on one entire wall outside the shower.
As we finish up the tile and wallpaper, it's time to start the barn wood trim. We went to the Amish countryside in Ohio to fetch these unique 150 year old wooden beams and planks from a dairy barn they were tearing down. It didn't take long to find one of the barn wood beams out of the pile to match the corner, but it did take some time measuring and cutting it to replicate a bearing corner post. The barn wood beams were also quarter sawn into smaller pieces and used for the upper crown moldings. The original barn wood joists and corner bracing were used to create the mirror frame and door casing. The vanity is also made from the old barn wood. We use the barn siding, batten strips and braces from the old barn. There are also custom made wooden black walnut hinges on this piece of artwork. This vanity top is very heavy and is custom made with colored concrete. When the barn wood is sanded, it just brings out that texture and color that makes this wood so unique. The actual barn siding and batten strips are used for the wainscoting, while the larger framing pieces from the barn are used for the baseboard and chair rail. Well, there you have it, old barn wood in your bathroom. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful. I'm Craig Heffernan and please, it's so important to subscribe to my channel to see my upcoming construction videos.